<clears throat> okay, I think I'm live. Drinking some water. We're going to do a unboxing um, video and announcement about 49 Fine Silver's auction. Millennial Stackers, the first one in here. Hi, Millennial. Coin Bros, thanks for coming. Does, um, does, uh, um, if Sakapata, man guy dude, hey, what's up? Hey, if, if Sakapata is still on, will you put a link when he's ending someone to here? Um, I don't know if I made it in time. He might be done. Anyway, that'd be kind of cool. I don't want to take people out of there before he's done. But just like when he's ending, it'd be kind of cool to have a link put in there. It was good, Millennial. Thank you. I was um, on YouTube a lot, and there was a lot of fun things that happened today on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, it was just it just felt like a really fun day today. Um, I may be the only Saka Plata mod here, Alice. <laughs> Am I a Saka Plata mod? I didn't know I was. <laughs> For some reason, that doesn't ring a bell, but maybe I'm forgetting. Pitbullion, hello. Pitbullion seems like he's a really cool person, even though I don't know them very well, but thank you for being here. Hey, Keith. I'm going to open some mail. Um, did Saka Plata end his stream or is he still on right now? I'm a jerk. Ask all my friends. Well, you're probably just really honest and like transparent and say what you feel. That's a good thing. <laughs> my mistake. I thought you were a mod everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm a mod on, like, International Stacker and Yankee, and so it's, like, I'm a mod on some of the big ones, but no, not everywhere. <laughs> Yo, Alice, my friend. Yo, Rafe, my friend. What is up? Gibby's Treasures. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. I'm going to open up mail. Mostly I would say it's unboxing, although when you win a prize, I'm not sure if that's considered a um, an unboxing or a mail call. I don't want to tear anything. Um, <laughs> Pit William says, I have to check my mail too. Keith, my brother, yo. Nice. Reese's cardboard for structure. I won this on the wheel, on the big wheel, on Everyday Copportunity. It was pretty cool. Then I won again the next time he did a wheel. The very next time. He went on there and I was there again. He said, oh, Alice, you're up here from before. And then I won. And I haven't got the second one yet. Anyway, this is the first of the two. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome that I won something. So Man Guy Dude was telling you I never won anything and I forgot this one. This is the one I was thinking of that I... Well, no, I mentioned this one you because I said there's one I was opening today and that was the one anyway uh, <laughs> I love the packaging in the Reese's yeah well now you just want a Reese's although white chocolate would be too sweet just give me a normal one or whatever <laughs> um so that was awesome I'm gonna keep that one I need to make sure I have that like separated Separated in a special like ga bag I start collecting. That's the second item ga I've opened. 
The first was Silver Huskies, Four Dimes. Um, but I've run a few more things that are coming still <clears throat> lately, which has been fun. So, um, might we be right back. My son isn't sleeping. <laughs>, Laughs, millennial stacker. Well, good luck getting him to sleep. Hey, peeps, this caveman. Hey, caveman. Nine people in the chat. Pretty cool. Millennial stacker says he's suspicious. Pit Bullion says we'll win. High five. Thanks, Pit. Um, Rafe, is this for real? Hey, blue-footed booby, thank you for being here. Hey, Doug Harding, thank you for being here. Sorry, I missed a little chunk of chat. I consider, he says I consider mail, you consider wins mail call? Okay, that makes sense. And then Pitt says the same thing. All right, cool. That, that makes sense to me. So I had a little bit of a mail call in here. That was it, and the rest of this is unboxing what I paid for. Oops. Hopefully I didn't just mess anything up. <clears throat> um, that's a pretty good ratio. <laughs> All right. So, um, clocking out in eight minutes, maybe have better connection after I leave this place. Alice one, two. Okay. So the next one I'm going to open is going to be uh, two items from stacking Stormtrooper. One of them is his channel art piece and I haven't been around his channel enough to know that it's not made of silver so when I bid on it I thought it was silver so that's okay and I won <laughs> I wouldn't have rebid once I learned that it wasn't silver but it's still a cool number so it's like collectible anyway I'm just gonna cut this carefully so that I don't. I have to get pretty close to the capsule to reach. Um, so these are the two items I got. So you can see I won this. Let's see what I had heard in chat or missed in chat. Um, hey Goonie, what's up? Now I think I got a good number let me see I paid I paid a lot for this so <laughs> I hope I got a good number and this is I think his first round of them Oof. something I'm not sure yeah I got number two so that's a good number because <laughs> you know it's... anyway I like Stormy and he is a big channel that was emailing me about me starting a channel before anyone else. So I feel like just like uh, loyal to him he, for helping me so early. And he, look, he drew this. That's so cool to me. He drew that. Anyway, it's a, it's like zinc or something, but it's, it's still cool. And then the other item I got was a Zombux. The barber. Look at that. Uh, let me get it focused. Right in the eye. What does that remind me of when he's like focused on the eye? I think it's um the office. Dwight is like wanting to stab the eye of the guy when they're trying to break into Karen's branch <clears throat> okay so zombux coin robert rorley what's up robert thanks for coming by zero two wow that's sweet thanks man guy yeah it is careful with them scissors Alex. <laughs> okay anyway yeah so this is kind of cool this 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 Dumbucks, it's in very good condition. I'm very happy about this this uh, coin. I feel like it's pretty deep stack. And then I got some envelope. Whoa, sweet, you guys! Check this out. I have a sticker. That's so cool. Oh, two out of fifty. I think it's because it's like 
comes with the obviously comes with the his correct oh my gosh <gasps> he gave me garbage pail kid cards there <laughs> this is cool <laughs> wow look at that garbage pail stacking stormtrooper and stacking <laughs> or storm pooper <laughs> these are really good quality too these feel like genuine trading cards for sure those are sweet. I don't know if he gives this to everyone, but I feel special. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that he doesn't. Okay. Oops. Auction. The Stacking Stormtrooper auction sticker. And then uh, his card. And then a certificate of authenticity for his shrimp. Number two. And then... Whoa! Cool! I don't think I won that. I don't remember. Did I win this? I really don't think I did. I think he just gave that to me. I don't know. Cool. I think he just gave that to me. Thank you, Stormy. <laughs> I'm going to have to email him and thank him. No doubt he'll see this. Anyway, that was so fun. I enjoyed unboxing that more than I expected to. <clears throat> Oh, the garbage pill kid cards were a really fun surprise. Okay, Storm, we got some cool stuff. All right, we're going to... Um, you get a free piece of silver with your, with your purchase. You get a free piece of silver with every purchase. Okay, well, I didn't know that. He's smart for doing that. Um, looks like a gift, says Kazen. Yeah, those are hilarious. Oh, yeah, the, the Cabbage Patch. Yeah, he gets those made by this guy. He has a, a, a newer one that's this, like, um, stormy weather. Okay, now, I'm going to do Guido's packages before I do my four nines pour, because I'm going to shout him out about his auction at the end. Okay, this is, this is, um... Pretty heavy. So, this is exciting. This is from Guido's auction. Um, not the recent one where I won the Geiger. That'll come later. But, the one before that. Okay. I'm just going to dump them out. Or, dump the stuff out here. And then, um... Oh, this was cool, you guys. The first thing I'll show you is something that I binned before anybody else. He was selling these Britannias. Do you remember? And he had them just, like, on a card only. And, like, he said, but one of them is, like, 34 instead of 32. Bin 34. And you get it in the box for $2 more. And I was fast. And I go, pin 34, and I sent it first. So that's this $34 Britannia 2010 in the box. I Guido really does have some really great bin stuff. Like, he, it, I don't feel like, is overpriced auction because of some of his bin stuff, especially, like, you can just, or even his auction stuff, like, my Geiger I got is ridiculous. I got a 250 gram Geiger square for $230. No joke. In an auction. I think I think everybody in the auction was like giving it to me or something. Because there's no way they didn't want it for that amount. <laughs> I, I don't know. That was crazy. They, the, they were glad you liked them. We're glad you liked them. Enjoy, brother. I don't know if he's talking to me, but, um, probably not. Anyway, so this is so amazing. This is just a really good deal on this. Okay. And then I have, uh, another free piece of silver. Wow. <laughs> cool. They're, they're, they, they communicate with each other about what to do and how to win people over and stuff. That's so cool. And then I got a sticker. Nice sticker. I love the pink. He says the pink is for breast cancer. 
amazing. Okay, here are my items. Got the Britannia and then I got these three things. This is, seems like the heaviest. I'm just going to cut this. Um, okay, so Rafe was talking to Jonathan. All right. I forget what these are. <laughs> no idea what I'm going to open. Let's see. Ooh, three things in here, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I remember I wanted the yellow Morgans. Do you guys remember? I was like, he had all these Morgans, and I said, I'll get the yellow ones. I just thought they were so cool how they were yellow. Well, first, I just saw one of them. And then he said, I have another yellow one. Do you want the other one? And I said, yes. <clears throat> Look at that. It almost looks like they're gold. Even though they're not. They just had this. <laughs> Alice, you have a lovely voice. Do you sing? <laughs> um, I think I could get a lot better singing if I ever took singing lessons. But I do like to sing sometimes. I'm a really good rapper too. You know, like, I think that maybe my, I don't have some insane range or something that's so high, but <laughs> I was thinking about making another channel where I could goof off and, like, sing and rap and, like, embarrass myself and not affect my coins and silver. Anyway, look, isn't that cool? What makes it tone so beautifully yellow? I don't know. I'm just really into it. <laughs> they're just so pretty to me okay anyway oops so then i got this sunshine mint oh this was a uh, bin at spot 24 dollars 24 something are they plated no they're not plated these are morgan he has a sigma and he's not going to be selling me plated things this is the not plated it's just you can, you can tell that they feel like silver, you know, how heavy they are. They're just toned. Um, okay, and then we have, I'm just going to cut. So this was something that I almost got for like 15 or something way under spot. But then people started looking, figuring out more about it. And, like, Gita definitely didn't, like, give it enough credit or tell people how much silver was in it. I was, I was about to win it for Underspot. But then I think I didn't win it for Underspot. But I still won it. And I still feel really happy about the price I got. It's a lot of silver. This is big. And then... Um, Drop some lines. Are they plated? I think he meant gold plated. Oh, you mean like there's silver, but there's gold plated. I guess that makes sense. That, is that like a thing they do? On Morgans? They electroplate gold on there? I don't know. Not sure. And then we have this. No, they're silver. I didn't know. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I assumed... When you said plated that you didn't mean silver. Sorry. Oh yeah, this one. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I knew there was going to be like this one thing in here that was like bigger and awesomer. Okay, are you guys ready? This was crazy good price for poured silver. And it's just so cool. Look at that. Oh my god, look at the pore lines, but like look at the wrinkles in the pore lines, like an explosion. Okay, man guy dude, I'll send them to you for sure. And you can check them out if you have a Sigma or whatever. Um, that'd be interesting. I wonder what Gita would say if that was true. Look at this, look at this bar. I love Infinity so much it's like a special concept to me five ounces let's turn it over 
so cool. It's just so like one of a kind, hand poured, has just that feeling of just that low fino feeling. Anyway, I think it was like like 29 or 30 bucks an ounce or something really like silly low for it poured. And I snatched it up. Okay. So now we're going to open up four nine silver pour that I bought from him, which is like my October monthly pour challenge item. If anybody doesn't know about what the pour challenge is, the challenge is every month you, you buy one poured piece of silver. And the reason is to support poured silver economics, like to support how much people can pour silver and make money from it and help support that hobby. Maybe even turn it into a business that they could make a living on. And why not hold your silver in the form of poured silver? It's beautiful. And in some ways you can hide it. You can make, you can get big statues made of silver and, um, you can hold it and, and I think that it does a pretty good job of maintaining its premium if you don't sell it on, at, at the, uh, look at this box he put it in. Jeez, that's adorable. Wow. Look at this. This is from Four Nines. He, he, I got a poured piece of silver from him. Look at this box. This is so cute. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, yeah, so if you start putting more of your stack in, in the form of poured silver, you're supporting the whole um, industry of, of, of artists being able to pour. And it's so much fun and relaxing for people and therapeutic. And just they, they can go and like, they can be doing art, but be feeling like they're being productive and making money. And we can enjoy beauty when we hold our silver. Anyway, so Four Nines is from Australia, if you guys don't know, and he'll show in his YouTube channel, he'll show videos on himself pouring and he'll explain really clearly like steps he's doing. So he's, it's a very educational, it's very relaxing to watch him when he's like melting the silver with his torch and it's, I always really look forward to all his videos. So, um... I'm going to drop a link. I'm pretty sure that I haven't um, copied anything since I copied the link. So let's look at that link and make sure it's to the right thing. But I'm pretty sure that link is to his auction. Go subscribe to him if you haven't subscribed to him. And, and definitely go put a reminder on that link. At that link, you should be able to remind yourself for the auction. He's having an auction for a bunch of his poured silver pieces. And you'll see, you know, from this one how good he is. Anyway, it's on 11.11, which isn't too hard to remember. Okay, link is good. Cool. 11.11. Um, so that's easy. Like, that's a really cool number. 1111. 11.11. That's his auction. And it's at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is um, earlier. So if you're on the East Coast, it's going to be 7 p.m. So remember that 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on 11.11. And I hope everyone can make it. Oh, my gosh. That's a surprise. That is not something I paid for. Oh, my gosh. A copper spider. You guys. Oh. Four nines, thank you so much. That is amazing. Oh, you probably saw how I had a spider on my sticker. That's so crazy cool. <laughs> wow. He's going to be like my little pal. I like this guy. <laughs> Keith says that is sick. Doug says, ah. <laughs> DA says has fire. 
um, emojis. <laughs> Gibby says, wow. I know, it's so cool. Oh, wow. It is amazing. So the story goes with with this guy is that um, I watched him pour it live. And it was so cool. It was amazing. And then he said it was messed up. Like, it, the, the stomach kind of got messed up and the leg got messed up. So he was going to remelt it. And I was so sad. I was like, no, he can't destroy the gorilla that I just saw made, my first live pour. So I asked him if I could buy it, even though he was going to remelt it. So I saved the gorilla from death. And he said he actually was happy with how it turned out once he fixed it up. So this is my first thing I've ever seen poured live. And who I saved from death. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Wow. Oh my. He is even better than I expected. How could you have remelted him? Wow. Look at his butt. That is nice. So you see his stomach is kind of what he was talking about, but... That's just cool. Like, that's just, you know, unique right there. Anyway, it had to do with the plaster that was there. It was a little wet still. Um, thanks. Sorry, that tripped me out. Glad you're well. I'm trying to see what this says. 999. Anyway, so, yeah, this is so, this guy is so cool. He's the perfect size and he can hang out with the spider too. I'm going to have like some pieces near me like all the time. They are best friends. They came from across the whole world together. That's really funny. That's cute. Anyway, so <laughs> I absolutely love my gorilla. I haven't ever had silver that's quite so like figurine like, you know. I mean, I had the pyramid and that's the closest thing, but this is like a animal, like a little figurine. It's so cool. I love silver like this. I want to get more silver like this. <laughs> It's going to be hard not to just have my next month piece be from his auction. I want that pig really bad. <laughs> I'm afraid how much it's going to get bit up, but, like, I want that pig. That pig, I think, would make really good friends with the spider and the gorilla. Don't you think? <laughs> okay, let's see what I'm missing in chat here. Um... Robert's just talking about missing people coming in sometimes. No worries. Spider monkey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That's funny. Spider. I don't know. I heard the girl say something about the spider. Sweet pieces, says caveman. 17 people in here. Jeez, that's amazing. Thank you, everybody, for being in here. Um, yeah, so... Um, I'm going to drop this link one more time now that you guys have, oops, have, now that you guys have seen this amazing piece and you think maybe you want to come to his auction and see, he has this, this Zeus, like a bust, like this bust, it's like this big, I think it's like four ounces or something. Um, and it, he toned it in, in a bag with eggs and it made it look so cool. Like, it defined the details more on the Zeus. I think I'll just have him stand on there and I'll hold this tray. Anyway, um, yeah, so check it out. Go check out his channel. He'll show himself pouring these items. Keith has a couple copper pours coming from Four Nines. That's awesome. That's Yeah, he'll, he'll pour copper, which is really cool. Like, if you don't want to spend as much money. 
I was the first there in his chat. I wanted something. Yes. Nice. Cool. Anyway, yeah. So 11, 11, 4 p.m. Mark your calendar. Set the reminder on the link I just set. My stream is about 30 minutes. So I don't know if I should end it and just call this a good video or if we want to hang out longer. Um, but I definitely was happy to be able to unbox everything with you guys. Um, probably mostly wanting to, um, get off the stream so I can talk to this one person on the phone <laughs> that's in this chat room right now. <laughs> I was the first there in this chat. I won at something. Yes. Have a golden day, everyone. Traffic. Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I hope that everyone can make the auction. I am probably going to make another announcement on my channel right before the auction, like the day before maybe or something, to remind everybody about it because I'm just so excited for him. He seems to be really excited himself about this auction and I'm excited for him and I want to do everything in my power to make a lot of people there um so that he he just sells everything at more than he expects to um I know it was really fine pickups in this box it was so cute oh I didn't even notice his sticker in here I feel bad sometimes I'm not observant look at that that's really big. That's so cool. Great sticker, four nines. That has to be like six inches long. Crazy. Alice, are you calling me? <laughs> no, Robert, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. I'm going to put this stuff away here. <laughs> um, it's a nice little box for some of my little stuff I got. I guess I'm going to mail these Morgans off to Mank I dude and maybe he'll test them um because he thinks they might not be real I don't know let's get this guy I don't know if I'm gonna put them in the box or not I'll, to, I'll just do it for now but I'm sure I'll set him up near me here pretty soon and this amazing score Um, so yeah, it was pretty cool that I won, um, International Stacker, uh, one of the prizes, you guys. <laughs> Mad Stacker deserves to give a lot of crap for me because he was totally saying he was going to win and I kept saying he, wa he wasn't and then I said, okay, if you don't win, I'm going to give you crap because he goes, oh, what did he say? He goes, okay, I can tell you guys all I'm going to win and if I don't win, you'll forget that I ever said anything. So it's a, a lose lose or a win win or something. I don't know. And then I go, Oh no, I won't forget. I will give you a hard time if you don't win. And he said, okay. <laughs> and so then I won. And so then I had to text him and give him a hard time. Of course, <laughs> like I promised in an even better hard time because I won instead of just him not winning. <laughs> I was like the one that got something. I uh, show the Japanese Lou oh, LJ. I will definitely be unboxing that live in front of everyone. I like showing people the things I open the first time that I see them too. Like I like to not pre-open things before I stream because I I get really excited about silver and I think obviously I'm more excited the first time I see things. So if I can share that with everyone, I'm sure that makes for better content. It's hard sometimes. Like, I want to open. I, I've been wanting to open this Guido stuff for a couple days. <laughs> like, well, at least yesterday I had it, I know. Maybe the day before. But I, it's been sitting here and I'm patient until I make my video. <laughs> um, please visit For the Love of Jerky, says Robert. Definitely subscribe to the for the love of jerky if you haven't they're awesome if anyone else wants to drop their own link right now in the chat for other people feel free 
Millennial drops a four. Which I don't understand, but I see you do that a lot. So that's cool that you're doing your thing. <laughs> Sorry about that, um, muscle. I um, have uh, this, is, this. Anyway, it's a. It, anyway, I'm not going to talk about it, but. <laughs> okay, so I am going to. Um, let's see. Anything else we want to do before I go? Do you guys want to see my stamps? That I got for less than the normal price of Forever Stamps on eBay. Doesn't matter if you see his address because this is his address. He shows everybody. Pretty cool. I got them, um, like I said, for like 40 something cents each. Less than. And um, yeah, so we got this. Um, and these prizes we're going to organize. And yeah, it was a good unboxing. <laughs> um, you love jerky. I sent them some jerky. I want to get them some more jerky. Um, I also kind of want to pay for them to have a um, YouTube premium subscription. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> if they'll do more times where they play music for us. That was fun. But anyway. Um, who doesn't like Ferky? Exactly. I like the stickers. I'm, I think I'm going to start making a sticker book. And um, like this black book that I have with black paper. And I'm going to find a way to keep them in there without destroying them. Um, so that's coming soon. But yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end the stream just because... Um, it's, I don't want it to be too long for people tomorrow, you know, I think I was thinking about like streaming for two hours, like mad, but maybe not, maybe it's just good to keep it shorter and, um, more interesting to future people and like, I can get on the phone tonight and not go to bed too late, <laughs> but yeah, so I've been liking the mule sauce. I have it here right now, actually. Look at that. So, it's not too spicy. Mostly just, like, on, like, crackers. <laughs> um, I don't know. Anyway. You got pretty drunk. Yeah, you did. You did. Robert. <laughs> Very. Try using a picture album. Okay. That's an interesting idea. I'll look around and see if I have something like that. All right. I know airplanes are kind of random, but I love the love part of it. Airplanes are cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go now. Um, it was a fun street. Oh, okay. Yeah, I already read that. Ten people. People are already leaving. I already bored people. Um, 38 minutes. All right. You guys have a fantastic evening. Thank you for watching my unboxing and, um, good luck with the election. I guess just I don't know what's really happening but cheer up I guess if it doesn't turn out how we want <laughs> well got you know God is in control <clears throat> and things are gonna work out in this world eventually all right love everybody have a great sleep tonight thank you I will and um, I hope that you all remember that you're wildflowers, which means you're beautiful, free spirits that are not grown in some flower patch to be like everybody else. You're not cookie cutter people. You guys are free spirited people full of love that have been drawn to this place. And I just can't tell you how much I love you guys. I really can't. 
<laughs> Bye, LJ. Thistle whistle. You have a good sleep. All right. Remember that we're all wildflowers here. Bye, you guys.